It's time to drop the hammer. We'll see how this plays out. I have a feeling gloves are going to come off from the word go as we hustle down the back straightaway into turn number three. 28 cars out on the racetrack so far. So good. Three wide, not a big surprise. Up front, race leader. First time across, going to be flying Ryan Timms. He's watching back for the Corey Day, the number four car, trailed by just a little bit to see how it shakes out. One, two, three, four, five cars up front, singled out. Fence post for a nation. Getting into that lap traffic. Tim's hung up. Look out right in your front of your race there. Tim's is caught up. Unbelievable. Contact right in front of Flying Ryan Tim's. It caught Corey Day, also stopped on the racetrack. Here we go. Green flag coming out. Boy, straight line down on the inside of the racetrack. Back behind Benston slings it out wide, or Mason rather slings it out wide. Green goes after your top spot. A little drive down to the inside. He's gotten away from Bowles. Mitchell trying to come back at him as Grant shuts the door in his face. Taylor Ryder might be picking up some speed, too. Is up and over goes Thomas Mesrall down to turn number one and two. Red flag coming out. Mesrall got her up on the high side. Was trying to grab that cushion. It grabbed the right-hand side of that race car, biked him up, and over he went. He's going to maintain that single foul formation. Grant throttles her up. He's going to crack the whip back behind line goes based in the 9 AU car. He's going to test the waters on that high line. He'll run it deep down into the corner, as will Kyle Larson, the 1K car. Both of them working around Logan Seavey. Based it with a nice little drive there. Picked the pop into the number 57. Seavey kind of caught sleeping a little bit. So now Larson looks to the outside. Down into turn number three. Seavey trying to keep it throttled up. He's able to do so and keep himself out of the way for the 1K car. He'll hustle down into the corner. 1K of Larson throws him back into what is now a meaty mix. Coming out, turn number two, down the back straightaway. Logan Seavey's right there on the tail of Golubic. So he'll sling a slider down into the corner. Look out, Larson bobbles. High side of the racetrack, back into that car, hopped up. As he caught a clod in the 1K car. And my goodness, that could have went horribly awry. I'm looking for the race leader, Justin Grant, down the back straightaway. He hustles into turn number three, and we got one up and over almost. She did do a full roll, just caught it out of the corner of my eye. So, and Taylor Reimer, the Yahoo 25K car, was up and over and brings out the red flag. A little bit further out the cushion before he punches the throttle. Let's start all the way back through the field. We'll scamper down into turn number one and two and down the back straightaway. Mitchell Bowles hanging on for now. Logan Seavey for the number three spot. Propped open the door. Three cars able to get through and around Spencer Basin. Boy, you talk about getting your pocket picked. Grant his diamond maneuver. He's got to hustle it up big time if he's going to outrun the 57. It's a Southern California runner on the hunt on the prowl. Down the back straightaway. Meanwhile, back behind. 97 to Gavin Miller moves around the 1K car. Big diamond, look out, nothing to be found. Holy smokes, he jacked that baby sideways. And much to his chagrin, Jane Avedisian was coming through there in the 71 car. She got popped up in the air. He gives up a couple of spots as an end result, but good job by her keeping that thing underway and under sail. May have damaged that car a little bit, though. Looks like she's off just a little bit, getting down into turn number three. Meanwhile, up front, here comes Logan Seamy after your race lead. Working just a tick lower than Justin Grant, trying to bring some momentum into play, and here it comes. Watch him down into turn number one and two. Going to be the move this next time. Out of the corner he comes, backs out of the throttle. This is it, slide job for the race lead. Powers up into the cushion. Grant trying to turn him back down the inside. Seamy goes to the number one spot. Justin Grant back to second. Oh, we got two up and over on the back straightaway. That pass may not stick. Chase Johnson involved back there in the 31 car. It's a replay coming up here on Flow Racing. You see she was just kind of slow down the back straightaway, and Chase just no place to go. He'll hold him a little bit longer. We saw how Justin Grant take him all the way around the top. Hustle down into the corner, watching Larson back behind that 1K car. See if he finds some speed down into the corner. Justin Grant bobbles on that high line for the number two car. Able to hang on to second for now. Hey, Logan see has got to go. He has got to go because here comes Justin Grant in the number two car. Closing on him. Two wide lap traffic lies ahead. Brian Weeman down on the inside. Brooks to the outside. CV trying to thread the eye of the needle with Justin Grant waiting to see what happens. CV bold move down low. Can't make it happen. There's the opportunity for Grant to close even further down into turn number one. Watch the battle. Grant jumps the cushion. 
spots are down in the corner. Kept on the high side of the racetrack. Hard to get a run on for a slide job on the initial start. Not so much the case in turn number three. There's a double slider look out. Parked it on the nose of the 1K car. Well, he fired that one off there for Carson Macedo. Just clipped Larson on his way through and checked him up enough that that allows the 19T to get back down the inside. Larson trying to come back at Moles. He'll slip up across, find the cushion, and back into the number four spot for the 1K car. Grant trying to get down in there and an angle of attack for the number two car. Meanwhile, Larson's going to be able to run to third. Deep down into the corner. Slide job, grab the binders, punch it into the cushion. And around Golubic goes the 1K car. Shane trying to come back down the inside. Larson says, nay, nay, not today. Keeps that baby in that number three spot. Golubic shuffled back to fourth on the field. And CV up front is once again off and running. Receding into the distance, as the case may be. Down into the corner with 13 laps remaining. Larson now going to go to work on the number two car. No doubt about it. He grabs some knobs there under that caution. He'll throw a slider on Grant. Grant tries to turn it back to the inside. Not going to be able to get there that time. So he'll run it down into turn number one. Larson up to P2. Rolled off his bad boy back in the number 16 starting spot. Can he run down? Logan CV up front. Out of the corner we go. Justin Grant kind of hump and hump down on the inside. Larson right back to the cushion for the 1K car. Down to back shoot. Deep into the corner for Golubic. 17W up across the two car. He'll try to get the number three spot away. Grant not going to let him go easily. As he slides back down to the inside. Grant back into third on the field. And actually got the door propped open for Carson Macedo. As Macedo coming up. Contact with Golubic. Golubic slips up through. Grant was waiting on it. May not be quick enough back to the throttle to hang on to P3 for now. As Golubic slips on through and the caution comes out. Taylor Reimer, unfortunately, kicked up onto the dirt bank on the back chute, and I don't know what happened there, but she's coming up now to the race car. Punches the throttle, we're back underway, and Larson's got a good restart. So he'll look to the outside, down into turn number one and two, and down the back straightaway. Here it comes, run down low, CV trying to protect on the slide job, lets him sweep on through, drops the nose, he'll look back down to the inside, drag race, Larson's got P1. Shuts the door on CV, CV trying to hang tough, Gullivan gonna come to play in the 17W car, deep into three, CV, slide job for the race lead, Bobble out of Larson, Gullivan's in the mix, oh, back to the P1 spot for the 1K car. CV's right there. Golubic's not out of the mix just yet. Three car tussle down into three. Down the inside. CV trying to run off some distance. Larson protected on the slider. Rolls across now with five laps to go. A handful remain. And those top three cars getting out away from the field. Larson stretches his legs on him. Hustles it out of turn number four and down to front straight away. Into turn number three. White flag coming out. Golubic trying to put pressure on CV. CV a slip of the grip. Gap opens up to the 1K car, Kyle Larson. Larson, Placerville Speedway's home track, picked up the inaugural Hangtown 100. He rolls back in here and becomes the first two-time winner. Checkered flag for Kyle Larson. Logan Seavey goes second, Shane Gullivan, your top three.